don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when videos drop. Thanks for watching. How do you train Peacock? Let's ask Mr. Peacock. Thanks, Mrs. Peacock. Training peafowl is something people always are asking us about. We've had our major peacock that I trained to jump on my arm on command way long time ago, and 15 pounds on your arm was quite a chore. I used at that time greens, and he got used to eating greens, and I had to go buy lettuce from the store in the wintertime and spinach for him, and that was his treat of choice. But recent years, we've got to this thing called mealworms, or as I like to call them, mealyworms. These are something that our birds really like. I just throw out of a handful of those now. These birds were raised from an egg, hatched out of my incubator, and I taught them how to eat mealworms out of my hand when they were very young. And then throughout their life, whenever they see me coming, all I have to do is make this sound and they come running. Warning, if you want to train your bird, you gotta be prepared for a long-term commitment. That means you're gonna have to have at least 15 years, maybe 20, 25 if you have only one. If you get tired of the bird, the bird's gonna still come over and watch your attention. Some people get frightened when they wanna jump on your lap or jump on your arm like our birds have done throughout the years but I always keep them real close and I like to give them goodies all the time. And when they see me, they know that I'm here for fun and goodies. They associate me with food. I had a relationship many years ago in the 90s with a circus guy called Bella and he did a circus act with his peacocks. We uh, captured one of his runaway peacocks and you can buy the book, The Peacock That Ran Away From The Circus, which is based on that story from our website, pfal.com. The link is below. You gotta get it if you have kids. And then if you're an adult, it's a real true story. And it's based on everything that happened with the peacock that ran away from the circus. He had an act that went all over the world with this peacock, had seven peacocks, in fact, with the white peacock as being the showcase bird.
Some people say they use crackers and bread. We've seen all kinds of things throughout the years. We now use mealworms because it's healthy, it's a good high source of protein, and the birds love it. They go crazy for it. And whatever you choose to use, that's what your birds will get used to, and that's what I would do. You have to spend lots of time with your birds. You just can't go out and do it maybe 10 minutes today and 10 minutes a week from now. You gotta do it every day. Spend lots of time. I would spend no less than an hour a day. I spend a lot of time here in the pen with the birds, many times filming and many times just sitting and observing and watching it. Also, watching your birds gives you an indication that they have any health issues. Fortunately for us, we don't have any health issues with our birds because I know this extra protein along with their cracked corn and game bird food that we feed them is giving them all the necessities that they need for nutrition. Be prepared for a long-term commitment of at least 15 years if you start training the bird. You could train an older bird, but it's going to be a lot more difficult and you're going to have to gain the trust of the older bird. Buddy the pet peacock just loves to be pet and held up. He comes up to get his mealworms for me and we have a lot of fun and I get to pet him and it's really relaxing. And that's a joy of having peacocks and especially a pet peacock. I hope you're as successful as we have been. Good luck. Order the Wacky World of Peafowl books at peafowl.com.